Okay, so here's a question that's quite easy, but is difficult because they're using terms you might be confused by and lots of letters which might confuse you as well, but we're going to go through it. So first of all, they tell us that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Well, let's just break that down for a moment. Triangle ABC, they're referring to this triangle right here because of the points A, B, and C. And then triangle DEF is this one right? D, E, F. So you can tell which triangle they're talking about by the letters they use. Now congruent essentially means equal, right? But slid over or rotated into another position. So this is telling us that if we took triangle ABC, this triangle, and we just moved it over here, nothing changes, just kind of slide a copy of it over here, that this triangle now exists and it's congruent to the original. So it's an exact copy but just moved over or turned around and put somewhere else. So now they're going to ask us which sides of the triangles are corresponding. Well, what does that mean? Well, whenever you make a copy of something, right, like this triangle, if you put that copy somewhere else and you turn it or whatever, there will be sides like EF, right? Where did EF come from? Well, EF is BC. They're corresponding. And what that means is that EF is in the same position as BC on the original shape. Right, we've just made a copy, and that's all we've done, and so all the relative positions are still maintained, and all that means is that if BC is over here on the triangle, when we make a copy of it, EF is still that same side, right? It corresponds. So you would say that BC, right, or you could say CB, the, the order doesn't matter, corresponds to EF, or you could say to FE. Right? These things are corresponding to each other. And all that means, again, is that they're the same spot. If you look down here at D, they have that answer, C, B, and F, E. The other sides shouldn't be corresponding. Let's check why. Well, A, B, and F, E. Well, let's take a look. A, B is just this long side right here. And you can see that A, B, and F, E are different lengths. So they couldn't be corresponding. They're different sides. A, C is, well, it's right here, right? and EF. Well, again, these two sides can't correspond. They're not the same length. CA, again, same thing as AC, but in a different order. And EF, they're just giving you that same comparison in a different order. Those cannot be corresponding because they're not even the same length. Right? Corresponding sides would have to be exactly the same length if the triangles are congruent. If they were similar, that means basically a copy that's bigger or smaller, like this. So it's a little bit more difficult to find. Oops corresponding sides, but you can still do it. Like this side would match here, this here, and this side here. But that's for another video on a different problem if they ask it. Alright, thanks.